Watching football is a lot of fun, but it's even better when you got some skin in the game. You guys hear me talk about for weeks, months, even years, mybookie.ag is the place to go, whether you're expert or rookie. Here's what you do. If you want some real entertainment, make a parlay. Pick three teams to win, hit all three, turn 100 bucks into 600 bucks. So much to bet on. College basketball, football, NBA, NHL, custom props, even eSports. Hey, man, bring in eSports. It's amazing. And recommended these guys for years because, trust them, uh, great reviews. Uh, they've been in the business for years and years and years. And the mobile site, super easy to use for on-the-go betting. And if you sign up this week, my book will give you a 50% deposit bonus. Jump start that bankroll. And uh, also make sure to follow Bet My Bookie on Twitter. Uh, they personally respond to every mention in DM, not to mention that they've also given away more than the 10 grand uh, in free money to their followers this football season. So don't miss out on one of the best uh, sporting weeks of the year. It's always great. Log on to mybookie.ag right now. Use promo code FTW and get 50% deposit bonus. That's promo code FTW. You play it, you win, you get paid. And whose team is this? Is this your team? Or is this your daddy's team? Thanks for listening to the Dad Mode Podcast. Common sense parenting in a politically correct world. Here's your host, Andy Carlson. Welcome back to the Dad Mode Podcast. Common sense parenting in a politically correct world. I'm your host, Andy Carlson, at Andy Carlson Show. On the tour machine, I have no idea what I'm doing because I'm a father, but uh, you and either their chief is those trying to learn something together today. A website is dadmopod.com. If you want to tweet us, uh, at dadmopod, or just use the hashtag dadmode. So today we're coming in and we're talking about Christmas, uh, Christmas specials, right? Because it, it is a season for that. And uh, here's the frustrating thing. Is that if you're a parent, that if uh, you're looking to uh, indoctrinate your kid with the classics and you're thinking about the Frosties and the Rudolphs and the Grinches and the Charlie Browns, uh, the whoever owns the rights to them, they're pretty damn gangster uh, about the rights because uh, y- you won't find them streaming on the the free for free on services that you pay for so like amazon or netflix or hulu you're not gonna find them on there so that's frustrating and if you want to buy the dvds like you wait until december 1st like us and then you're like oh all the dvds are sold out like you don't think ahead you don't order them in july and be like all right we're gonna squat on them uh and also if you don't if you don't have DVR or anything like that, like if you miss it on the network broadcast, then it's gone. It's like, uh, 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 all right. So we kind of whiffed on that. And you're not going to find it on YouTube. You're not going to find it uh, in, in the deep, dark torrents of the dark web. Although you might be able to. But it, they're pretty they're pretty damn gangster about staying on top of that. So we, we finally just broke down and ordered up the DVDs. And you know, for right now... Uh, you, you have to go through and look really closely at, at what they are because they'll trick you. Like, it will be, oh, Christmas specials. And it's like, oh, Rudolph. Oh, Rudolph. This is great. Except it's Rudolph 7. Rudolph 7, uh, Blitzer's Revenge, or whatever it is. Or it'll be like Frosty's July Adventure. It's like, nobody wants to watch that. Nobody. Uh, so we finally just, hey, you can't really call it an investment. But we finally just went all in and we're just like, you know, screw it. We are going to uh, buy these classics on DVD and pretty happy about it. So uh, one is uh, Rudolph the Red Nose. Oh, all right. So one of the DVDs has Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer on it. It's great. Timeless classic. Although was it Huffington Post was talking about how it is racist and like sexist and like bigoted. And I'm, yeah, I'm sure like no one. No one takes into account like uh, when the specials came out or l- like when art co- came out, like the era, right? So we always love It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, it's so great. Oh, wonderful. Oh, blah, blah, blah. What about what about George's massive DUI and just leaving the scene of, a, of an accident? Yeah, no one talks about that. Oh, or the uh, fact that George, you're probably going to jail for or for embezzlement, for bank fraud. You going to jail, son. Eh, no one talks about that. Or uh, Christmas Story. 
and I, I'm allowed to say this because I'm Asian. The whole scene at the end when, when they're having uh, Christmas dinner at the Chinese restaurant, and they're like, fa ra 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 you know, back then, yeah, you're walking the line, right? Uh, you're walking the line of – because when did A Christmas Story come out? Let me look that up now. Because uh, one of the – all right, so 1983. So this was I, – I mean, it was after – way after Breakfast at Tiffany's. Uh, so the whole uh, – uh, and, and Mickey Rooney. Yeah, Mickey Rooney playing the, the Asian uh, landlord. Yeah, that was probably past that. But, it, you know – no one says Jack Poop uh, about a Christmas story because, oh, it's so beloved, blah, blah, blah. So it's funny the way that we pick and choose our battles in what is racist and what is not. So uh, Rudolph, really excited uh, and happy about that. All these DVDs come on Monday, so we'll be hitting uh, December uh, and Christmas season um, you know, full blast. Also, anytime after Thanksgiving is Christmas season. That is it. Or anytime after the first snow, it is winter, right? Because nothing, nothing is worse than being like, oh, winter wonderland, and then someone comes in, Ugh. well, actually, winter doesn't begin until December 22nd. It's like, get out of here. Get your ass out of here. Yeah. Uh, so Rudolph, eh, Rudolph was always weird because I, I did think that the deer were dicks to, to Rudolph, but that's part of the story. And then also uh, the random elf with uh, who wanted to be a dentist. Like, I don't really remember that from the OG original story. And then he got the Embalmal Snowman, and he got the Klondike guy who always is licking his uh, ice, ice pick. It's random, right? Yeah. Uh, so we got that. And then we got Frosty the Snowman, the classic Frosty the Snowman, uh, is on the same DVD, which is great. And, he, you know... Running away from home was a lot more prevalent back then, because I mean the the little girl was just like, "Hey, uh, little girl with clear daddy issues. Hey, I, I'm just gonna run away with the snowman. I'm gonna go to North Pole. No big deal. Hop and train with this bunny. Yeah. Also, the bad guy's a magician. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but at least it's OG Frosty, uh, because the the other Frosties like Frosty Two. Like the bunny's revenge, Frosty three, back in the habit. Nah, nah, pass. No, terrible. And, and see, those are the ones that they trick you. Those are the ones that are available on Netflix. And then you click on it and be like, oh, right, here we go. And then it's crap. It's garbage. Yeah. Uh, also on this DVD is uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Now, apparently, this is a, this is a really popular one. Uh, but I'm sure I've seen it. It just never really resonated with me. Uh, in terms of like the random claymation, uh, uh, like when they're doing these up too. By the way, back in the day, it's like h- how random was it be uh, when you're working on the claymation on this in July? It's like yeah, whatever. So wasn't uh, Bing Crosby's uh, White Christmas? Wasn't that recorded in June, July in California? Nah, maybe. Uh, also on here is uh, the little drummer boy and Cricket of the Hearth. I I don't believe I've seen. Uh, either of those, but I mean that's not bad. And plus, that was eleven bucks on Amazon. So I mean, we're we're absolutely gonna take that. I mean, I mean, that seems like a good deal, right? Yeah. So that's disc one. Speaking of Christmas, it's coming up. Our, our friends at Post Burner can hook you up because we all have uh, we all got photos, cameras uh, on the uh, camera phones as well. Uh, Post so social media, and if you really you just got that perfect picture. And it's something that you want to see every day. Postburner.com uh, could turn your photos into just amazing, uh, amazing prints. Uh, so easy to use, affordable. Uh, quality is top notch. I'm just looking at ours right now. We got a picture of Margaret where she's playing in the leaves uh, from the fall. And it, it's a great idea for a gift, uh, family, friends. Uh, oh, also, grandparents love it. They, they love it. Christmas holiday season is coming up. And also, uh, they're. The Prince Super Thick Premium Photo Paper. You can get a, a 24 by 36 movie poster for 20 bucks, under 20 bucks. That's the most popular one right now. Plus, premium canvas prints, metal prints, decal stickers, banners, anything you want. Go to per- postburner.com slash dad, D A D, today. Plus, you get an additional 10% off your order. Uh, discount applies to every type of print that you want. Yeah. Again, postburner.com slash dad uh, for great uh, Christmas holiday gifts this season. All right, on the second DVD uh, that we bought, and 
it's real important that we're you know we just got our most bang for our buck. So this one is sixteen um sixteen nineteen, right? And also, uh, so on Amazon, and this one has like a a bunch of them. So uh, on the first disc is uh, how the Grinch stole, stole Christmas, and I mean that's important. Yeah, I mean you have to have that one. You're a mean one, Mister Grinch, and I. I couldn't get into the Jim Carrey remake. I don't know. There's just something about you have an animated classic. Why do you have to make make live action? That's my thing. Also, the Benedict Cumberbatch is like, oh, we're we're just redoing this again. Didn't we just do the Grinch like ten years ago? It's got to be rebooted. Sure. Uh, so we got that. That's the highlight uh, of the, this set. Uh, also, our Leprechauns Christmas Gold. Never heard of it. Pinocchio's Christmas, which I'm sure is fine. The Stingiest Man in Town. Uh, I, I Googled that, and there's a lot of reviews about that one. Like, this one, it's like a quasi, like, an underground Christmas classic. Like, this is the this is the trampled by turtles of Christmas specials. Sure. Uh, next up is The Year Without a Santa Claus, which I guess is a big thing. Rudolph's Shiny New Year. Now, see that these are the, some of the burner ones that they get you with on the Netflix. Like Rudolph, Shiny New Year, and it's crap. It's garbage. Uh, Nestier, the long uh, Nestor, the long eared Christmas donkey. Sure, uh, Frosty's Winter Wonderland. Yeah, this is the one that again one of those uh, bootleg ones uh, that I'm sure probably do big in like I don't know Asia or something. Uh, Twas the night before Christmas, and last but not least, the most bootleg of them all. Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July. Just great. Great stuff. Everyone's having a good time here. But, uh, yeah, uh, Margaret's getting to the age now. You know, she's three and a half where it's really going to start sinking in uh, about Christmas and, and all the awesomeness uh, that it is. And I don't like I, – I've always liked Christmas, but I freaking love Christmas now. Yeah, with, with a kid, it really does change everything. And you know, getting the gifts together, and uh, you know, wrapping presents, and you know, stuffing the stocking, and it's just that I, uh, you know, Margaret is so she she just has the best reactions. She really does. Um, because we did a we gave her one of those blind bags for uh, My Little Ponies. You know, you open it up, you don't know what you're gonna get, and it's such a surprise. And then she opens up. And she and then she gets one that she wants, like the Twilight Sparkins. It's like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So just imagine that times like twelve on Christmas Day. I just really can't wait. And uh, these specials will get us in the mood. And uh, hopefully we got the uh, at least we got the OG ones, which is always uh, fantastic as well. And uh, also fantastic yeah, if you like the show. Uh, tell a friend, spread the word. It's just. Random dad spitballing, you know, talking about nostalgia, Christmas stuff, all that great things. And the show's available on iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio. Follow us on Twitter at DadmoPod, me and Andy Carlson Show. Website is DadmoPod.com. But until next time, be a man, be a father, go DadMo. Smile. Think the episode you just heard is worth a dollar? Well, send it our way. Visit DadmoPod.com slash support to find out how. Be a man, be a father. Go dad mode. The music is created and produced by Deeb. To hear more of his tracks, visit soundcloud.com slash Deeb.